We are live on the Church Street Marketplace in downtown Burlington. We're waiting for cartoons to take the stage. We met him live on the NBC5 News at 4.30. Now at 5.30, we're with Jay Wall, the executive director of the Flynn. My friend, how is the Discover Jazz Fest going so far on day two? It's amazing. Last night we opened with such a bang, such beautiful music. We're right now on Church Street, Cartoons is about to take the stage. We got two big days at the waterfront coming up and then a finale, a finale Sunday with Robert Glasper at the Flynn. I love this festival. One of the things that I think we cannot underscore enough is that the vast, vast majority of the events are free of charge, with the exception of Robert Glasper at the Flynn. Why was it such an important thing for you and the Flynn to make these events free? This music is for everyone, right? Jazz incorporates a lot of sounds. It's soul, it's rock and roll, it's R&B. It's gone in a lot of places. It's gospel, right? So we want to make sure everybody has access to music. It's sort of a right to be together, to be with your family, to listen to music, to have a good time. This is an opportunity as we start summer for people to be together, and we don't want there to be any barriers ever. So just come on down. It's all free. I think the word jazz sometimes makes people a little uncomfortable. They're like, oh, I don't know a lot about that music style. You don't have to know a lot, do you? No, this jazz music means, I think, it makes you want to move. Like, let's think about it that way. So like Big Freedom Bar Night, the waterfront, first of all, it's free, but if you could just like swirl just a little bit, you're gonna have a good time and the smile. What you're doing right now is what it's about. Uh, jazz is the music that brings us together. It's a true American art form. It's something for everyone. And talk about the weather. Obviously, you know, we're anticipating rain. It's dry now. Uh, Cartoons is about to take the stage. His show should be dry. But how do you, how do you evaluate the changing weather conditions? Um, well, you've heard of a rain dance. So I've been doing the sun dance, you know, for a week now. Um, you know, we can't control that. We want it to be outdoors. We want families to be together. I can't worry about the weather. We recognize it's Vermont. It's summer. Things change. We do really look at the weather. If it's a lightning storm, we can't continue the show. That's not safe. But, you know, it's summer in Vermont, so it might drizzle a little bit. You know, bring a raincoat. But um, we really just want to be together. And if we get a little wet doing it, it's okay. So you'd be watching for the possibility of torrential downpours or lightning, and you would make the call if those happen to cut this short tonight? Absolutely. We have a policy around lightning uh, within a certain amount of time, within a certain amount of distance. We will pull the show in that moment. We do not want people to be unsafe ever. Uh, with that said, it's not raining right now, and great music is about to go on stage, so we're ever joyful, ever hopeful. And again, there are still tickets available for the finale, Robert Glasper at the Flynn on Sunday night. Absolutely. Glasper has six-time Grammy Award, Ted Craig Grammy Award. He's been nominated like nine categories. This is a true music superstar. Uh, please come get tickets. Go to FlynnVT.org for all the information about that and all the uh, shows at the festival. All right, Jay Wall, Executive Director of the Flynn, thanks so much for being with us. Brian and Liz, that's the very latest from Church Street. Back to you.